I'm Miss Janet. Today is February 4th, 2022, and we are in the week of the fourth Sunday of Ordinary Time. One Sunday, Father spoke about why do we do things at Mass? Do we cross ourselves because of habit? Do we genuflect because of habit? It was then I decided to make this series of talks. Why do we and explain some parts of the Mass. I hope you learn something, refresh your self, and become more in tune with what happens at the Mass. Before we go on, I must say, I am not a priest, deacon, or nun. I haven't studied religion in any formal setting. I'm a lifelong member of Holy Family Church, and I'm a volunteer with the Religious Ed Program. Today, we are talking about the introductory rite and the penitential rite. If you watch the videos that came before, you'll know when we walk into church, we bless ourselves with the holy water in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We find our seats and we genuflect. And we go into our seats and we say a prayer. We have the entrance procession and then we begin the Mass. And after Father gets to the altar and he genuflects and he kisses the altar, he begins the Mass in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we bless ourselves along with him. And when we bless ourselves, we remind ourselves again of our baptism and that we are disciples of Christ Jesus. In Matthew, Jesus says to his disciples, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And when we say these words, we know that we are all part of the family of God and when we bless ourselves. Father says, The Lord be with you. And we respond, And with your spirit. Because we believe that the priest who is saying the Mass, who is celebrating the Mass, is filled with the Holy Spirit. He's ordained a priest. He's filled with the Holy Spirit. That allows him to enter into the Mass and act as Jesus. And he's filled with the Holy Spirit. And then as we go on, we do a examination of conscience. We say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters. And if you read that prayer in church and you go along, you realize that you are doing an examination of conscience. And you're going into Mass and you're saying, I'm sorry for anything I may have done against me, myself, my family, my friends. And we say that prayer together because we all have done things through the week that maybe we are not so proud of. Then the Father says, Lord, have mercy. And we respond, Lord, have mercy. He says, Christ, have mercy. And we respond, Christ, have mercy. The priest says, Lord, have mercy, and we respond, Lord, have mercy. We are asking for God's mercy. Please forgive us for all we've done. And then most of the time in Mass, especially on Sunday Mass, we sing the Gloria, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. And that's usually what we hear at Christmas time, that's what the that's what the angel said to the shepherds, glory to God in the highest. And the Gloria is a response to the, the Lord have mercy. We it's like God is saying, I'll answer you and I'll make you okay to go into the sacrament of the Mass that we're going into. 
So let's think about that. We just don't do, we just, everything flows in the mass. So I hope you learned something new today because the next time we come, we will talk about the liturgy of the word and we'll learn something else that, or we'll refresh ourselves on something that we may have forgotten. I wish you a good week and I hope to see you at 930 mass.